Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to continue on our discussion of our red, yellow, and green chart. And it's a chart I put together based on our database of now 150 rooms to kind of give you some ideas of room sizes. Because everybody wants to know, how big should my room be? How high should the ceiling be? How wide should the room be? How long should it be? And of course, my standard answer is, well, what are you going to do in the room? Okay, so we have to match usage with size, volume, and all those other variables. So today we're going to talk about the yellow area. Now, the yellow provides dimensions that minimize the problems of the red. Don't eliminate, just reduce the problems that the red zone has. But more importantly, in the yellow area, it gives us some room for treatment. And it gives us a little more distance so we can start using diffusion. Because remember, we only have two treatments. I hope someday that changes, but probably won't in my lifetime. But absorption and diffusion are the only two techno technologies that we have available. And of course, there's hybrids of all of those. But the two basic core technologies are absorption and diffusion. So with the yellow zone, we get more volume because you can see the dimensions are bigger and we get less low frequency issues, but we still have to treat with almost the same amount of surface area as the red zone because it's just not big enough yet to minimize uh, issues, especially on the low frequency side to a point where we don't have to manage many of them. So we have less amplitude. We have same issues, but less strength because we have more volume. But the main thing about the yellow zone is that we have room for treatment because remember low frequency management takes 12, 14, 16 inches of space. So if you have 15 foot width and we're really serious about treating the uh, pressure areas on the width, then we're going to lose three feet. Okay, so we have to be really careful here with, with how we're going to do it because we don't want to, by adding treatment, we don't want to increase our problems. First rule in acoustics, excuse me, do no harm, right? We don't want to increase the problems we're having to treat. We want to minimize those issues. So we have enough space to treat low frequency absorption, middle frequency and high frequency absorption. And in the yellow zone, we get to add diffusion. So in a listening room, we got room for diffusion on the rear wall. Okay. In a home theater, we have room for diffusion on the rear and the ceiling, which is the two good surface areas for theaters. And then in a mixed room, obviously diffusion on the rear wall. So we still have that front end need and requirement for low frequency management close to speaker and source. We get a little more breathing room, so to speak, with the diffusion options in the yellow zone. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.